What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video. And today I want to show you guys something interesting. And this is how to use ChatGPT from the terminal. Now I was looking through the AUR for some new software to kind of cover on the channel. And I ran across this application called Terminal GPT. And essentially what it does is allows you to run ChatGPT from the terminal. And it works on Linux and Windows, which I thought was super cool. So let's go down there and hop right into it. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream, complete, binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. So after finding it in the AUR, I found the link to the actual GitHub page. And this program was written by A. Andrew Dashmi, and it was written in the Go language. And of course, I always have the link down in the description of the video so you guys can check it out for yourself. But as you can see, it is a chat GPT in terminal without needing the API keys. Now, the API portion is super important because most of the time when you need to connect to a backend with some data or something, you need to generate API keys. So with this application, you don't have to sign up and create any API keys in order to connect to this chat bot. And it's a different chat bot. It's not the actual official uh, chat GPT website. It's actually a Bay chat bot. And like I said, it's cross platform, it's a command line tool that lets you use chat GPT 3.5 in the terminal. And like I said, it's highlighted without API keys. So super cool. It communicates with the back end of that chat bot. And it's also written in the Go language, like I said before. And here's a quick example so you guys can check it out. You know what I'm saying? But the installation is right here. So uh, download for GNU slash Linux or Mac OS. So you can use it in Mac OS as well. And then also down below, you can install it on Windows using Chocolate or you can also use Scoop. So uh, you can get it installed on Windows as well. Now it's super simple to install. So let's go down and hop over to my virtual machine so I can show you guys how to get it installed on Linux. All right, so I'm on my virtual machine. This is Endeavorous OS, which is an Arch-based Linux distribution. If you guys want to check out the review idea for this distro, it's a pretty awesome distro. So I'll link that video up above. But let me show you guys the Arch package or the AUR package. So if we go in here to archlinux.org uh, and go over to the AUR, and if we type TGPT, uh, press enter, That'll search the Arch user repository. And as you can see, the one we want to download or install is the TGPT-bin. Uh, this is version 1.6.4-1. Uh, and it has the highest popularity. That's one thing I look for uh, when searching the AUR is looking for which one has the most popularity as well as the votes. Uh, and as you can see, you can see two of them down here. So here's another one, uh, Terminal GPT. Um, and this is different from the bin. So what we want to install is just a bin uh, since that's the most popular and currently being used. So we know it kind of works on most systems based on the amount of people that are using it, based on the amount of people that uh, voted on it, as well as the popularity. So that's one thing I look for. So if you're using Arch Linux, it's very simple to install. Uh, actually, let's go to the application first and let's pull up the GitHub page again because I wanted to show you guys it's a little bit different depending on what Linux uh, distribution you're using. So as you can see, they have a script for you right here uh, for any other version similar to like Ubuntu. You should be able to install it using uh, on Ubuntu. Uh, they have it, you know, the package already preset up in the AUR for you for Arch Linux. But all you had to do is copy the script if you're using like Ubuntu or something, paste it in there. And I've tried it on a Ubuntu system, so it does work. You just follow it, just paste that in the terminal and it'll go through and install it. So let's go back here. All we have to do is type uh, TGPT bin uh, and using your package manager for the AUR. And you can use any one you want to use. I use Yay pr predominantly all the time. But the first thing you want to do is actually update the system, see if it needs any updates. And this is something that I do all the time, uh, no matter what it is. I just run through and do updates on the system first. 
I know a lot of people say you don't have to, or a lot of people do say you need to do this, uh, but I've, it's like a habit, something that I do all the time. Anytime I install something new on my system, I always update the system. And then I also run backups, but this is a virtual machine, so I really don't care, but I'm gonna go down and do the updates anyway. So I'm not gonna exclude any packages. So go down and uh, press Y to go through the install. So to go through and install those changes and these updates must have came in overnight because I updated this system yesterday. I actually got it installed yesterday and updated it. All right, cool. So the install is complete. Let's go down and install the actual package. So all we have to do is type yay dash capital S and then TGPT dash bin. I'm gonna tap it out, press enter. Uh, let's go down and get this thing installed. Uh, it's very simple to follow uh, packages to clean bill. I always do all. Um, and then the differences to show. I never show the differences, which you could check it out. Um, but that's really typically if you already had an application installed to look at the differences or the changes uh, from the currently current one that's installed on your system. And that's one thing I don't like about Yay, but it's okay that it shows it every time it's fine now let's go down uh hit yes to proceed so we are done we got terminal check uh, gpt installed on the system all right now the usage of this application is super simple let's go down and close the terminal uh all you have to do is use uh tgpt uh as the command and i'm not sure if it has a command page when i installed it before i didn't check so let's actually see and yeah there's no a uh, man page for it, but let's back off and let's see if there's a help uh, for it as well. So dash H is typically what they use. And yeah, there we go. So uh, here are the flags right here. So dash S generates and execute shell commands experimental. So try not to use that. This is uh, experimental as well. So code uh, generate code experimental uh, forget. So you can forget your chat history, uh, the version. Uh, you could type that in as well to check out the version, the help, uh, interactive mode. So start a normal interactive mode. So you could type and ask questions and all that good stuff. Uh, multi-line. So start multi-line interactive mode, and then also an update for the application itself. And here are a few examples. So let's just run through and run this, uh, example right fast. Uh, and this is using the shell boom. Let's go down and paste that example in there and press enter. And as you can see, it'll try to, you know, find and it, it'll pull what it can. Uh, it's thinking that we're using a Debian based system. So that's probably why I pulled that up, uh, how to update my system. So uh, it just brought up the command. And then also with the shell, uh, which it generates and executes the shell command. So if you wanted to execute that shell command, which is sudo apt update, sudo apt upgrade, then you can execute that shell command. I'm gonna type no. So boom, it doesn't execute because obviously this is an Orch based Linux distribution. So it doesn't use the app dash get command. So it will fail, but let's run that same command and let's exit in Arch using yay and let's see if we can run that interactive mode see if it'll pull up the information for it so yay uh, i put ya so that's not good i don't think that's gonna work and i'm sure it's not gonna work yeah so that's incorrect uh, not sure why it didn't put the full thing in there but hey that's a bug right there it lets you know that it's not 100 percent accurate all the time and i'm glad i did that uh just to see if it actually worked or not now let's back this off um let's get out of that shell version and let's just ask it some questions and we kind of already know how to use uh, chat gpt uh so we could type write and example html example and let's close it out close out those quotes press enter it'll go through and ask that and it'll give us an example of the code right in the terminal so that's super cool you know what i'm saying you could do the same thing uh, with any other other one and then it also gives you the description that you typically see in the browser when you actually run it so that's super dope so it gave us our example and then it also uh, broke down that example for us so that's super cool and you can do the exact same thing you know depending on what you want to do so let's go java just to see right in java an example uh example and let's see so it runs a hello world a java example so super cool and let's do something a little bit more complex. Uh, let's see, uh, write 
a bash script to back up data from using rsync and press enter boom let's see if it brings up anything uh it should bring up an example uh using rsync yeah that's cool sets out variables so we got a source directory destination directory we can change that and then also goes through and writes out the rsync command and so it uses some of these options it also breaks down the options so super cool uh, you can also delete, uh, put that delete option in there. You can modify this as you need it. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, make those changes uh, to your source and destination directory. But it's all there for you. Uh, but this is a great way to learn how to either script or code or something like that. You can get quick examples. And then one other cool thing about, and we all know ChatGPT. It gives you all the information you most likely need. Uh, but it also breaks down, you know, changing that script file, that SHA file into executable and then also how to run it. So super cool. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. This is an awesome little tool in case you want to run ChatGPT from the terminal, uh, which a lot of us Linux heads, we like to run things in a terminal. It's a super cool way of running applications or managing things. Uh, the terminal is just super awesome. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And of course, keep it techie.